Welcome back to the workshop, everybody. So glad you could be with me here today. Walter here at the workbench. So, two things today. I want to give you an update on the Kunz, K-U-N-Z, high-speed steel plane blade. More on that in a minute. But first, I want to talk a little bit about the hand plane challenge. Can we live with just one hand plane? Well, I have to concede that I like the number six. The number six, for me, allows me to create a level surface quicker and more accurate due to the comparatively longer length of the plane, okay? Even when I'm working on wood that's slightly shorter than the plane, it helps. But I have it set up as a smoother. It's, uh, it's taking beautiful thin shavings, as you can see. So you could, upon completing your leveling with the number six, you could go right to finishing. However, and there's always a however, did you notice I didn't say but? <clears throat> okay. The number four with the smoothing straight across, smoothing iron in there with an ever so slight camber to the left and right, it will take an even smoother cut and leave an almost polished surface. Okay, so there's a, a beautiful shaving, feathered on both sides, you can see through it, and the board is becoming shinier because I have a sharp smoothing cut going on here. Okay, so can a person live with just one plane? Yes, you can. But here comes the other question, why? And I know, I'm the guy who started the, the one plane challenge. But there's a definite smoother feel to the board. It's shinier. You could go right to finishing from here. And there's no scraping or sanding required at this point. What I would do is if I'm using, oh, let's say the tried and true oils, I would go right to here and I'd take a piece of steel wool, 4 aught steel wool, and I'd burnish this. Then I'd apply a thin coat of the finish. Then I'd burnish it again the next day and apply a thin coat of finish. Burnish it the next day, top coat it. If I was doing shellac, I would put a liberal coat of shellac on, let it dry. I would come back with 240 or 320 grit paper and I would cut it back lightly. Then I would take my polishing cloth, my French polishing cloth, and I would French polish it up and it would come out like a mirror. Trouble with walnut though, is it is an open grain wood to some extent. It's, uh, it's not like oak, but it is open grain. So sometimes people will use a walnut colored grain filler to get down into that open grain. And so how you do that is you seal it first with either shellac or sanding sealer. You sand it back, you apply the grain filler, you let that set up, you burnish that off. 
Then you seal it again and you go from there. So, <clears throat> but you can also just oil it the way it is. Let the oil get down in there and multiple coats later, the oil will fill up the grain and it will take a long time. So there you go, everybody. And now for the update on the Kuntz high speed steel plane blade. So far, it has been performing excellent. Now, it costs twice the price of a high quality 01 tool steel blade. Am I getting twice the life out of it? I can't tell. I do know that I can get through some dirtier woods or some rougher planing for a longer period of time between honings. And uh, I've only had to grind it back one time so far. But don't be mad at me. I'm going back to two planes. And I'll still use the scrub plane iron when I need it in the number four so I don't go to a third plane. I know, it's almost like a third plane, but it's not, it's just a blade. Hope this helps somebody, and you found it useful. Look at that, isn't that amazing? Head out to your shop, go make some shavings. Walter out.